How's it going everyone? Today we'll be looking at the ASUS Prime Z590M Plus, a micro ATX board powered by Intel's top-of-the-range Z590 chipset. The Z590M Plus is quite a unique offering in the sense that it is one of the rare Z590 boards that come in the micro ATX form factor. So if you're looking to build a micro ATX 11th generation Intel system, this board would definitely have to be on your radar. Before we begin, shout out to my friends at Mansa Computers who have lent me this board for this video. If you're based in Singapore, do check out their custom-built PC offerings in the video description down below. Do remember to subscribe and hit the bell to get the latest channel updates. Let's start with the packaging. As an offering from the prime lineup of motherboards by ASUS, the Z590M Plus represents the entry level for anyone looking to get a board powered by Intel's Z590 chipset. And correspondingly, there's nothing much to shout about for the packaging really, it has pretty much the same box design as the rest of the prime lineup. As of mid-August 2021, the Z590M Plus can be had for around US$175 from Newegg, and it's pretty much one of the cheapest Z590 offerings that one can get on the market today. Moving over to the rear of the box, some key features to note include the fact that the board comes with built-in Intel Gigabit Ethernet as well as audio powered by Realtek's ALC897. And that's about it. Quite a stark contrast in terms of specs, especially if you were to compare this board to say, the top of the range Maximus 13 Hero that I reviewed a while back. Do check out the video if you haven't already done so. With that, let's have a look at the contents of the box. Setting aside the board for the moment, the Z590M Plus comes with the absolute bare minimum in terms of accessories. You get two SATA cables, two packs of M2 drive screws and standoffs, the IO shield, a DVD driver disc, as well as a quick setup guide accompanied by the motherboard manual. And that's about it. I suppose let's move on to have a look at the board itself. And here we have it, the Prime Z590M Plus. Initial impressions, there's quite a fair bit going on in terms of lines and patterns splashed across the PCB and the VRM heatsinks, which lends some sort of visual interest to the board's appearance. Do note that the board does not come with an integrated IO shield design, nor does it come with built-in RGB LEDs of any sort, though of course there are addressable RGB headers and a standard 12 volt RGB header which I will cover later on in this video. While the VRM heatsinks have a nice gleaming brushed finish, it's not as hefty as those that you tend to see on higher-end boards nowadays, and the passive heatsink for the Z590 chip is pretty small as well. And well, as long as it gets the job done, I suppose. Being an entry-level Z590 board, there are no heatsinks included for the M2 slots right here. For memory support, the Z590M Plus comes with four DDR4 slots with support for up to 128GB of RAM, and the slots are in plastic with a single tab design. Right next to the RAM slots are two USB 3.2 Gen 1 front panel headers. In terms of expansion slots, the board comes with a PCIe 4.0 x16 slot, a PCIe 3.0 x4 slot, and two PCIe 3.0 x1 slots. In the storage department, ASUS has included a rather odd number of SATA 3 ports, five of them, with four in a right angle configuration and one in a straight angle configuration. For M2 slots, it comes with a slot here that supports the PCIe 4.0 x4 standard and two slots right here that support the PCIe 3.0 x4 standard. Owing to the fact that this board does not come with built-in Wi-Fi, ASUS has also included a M2 slot right here that supports Wi-Fi modules in the Type 2230 Key E standard. For audio, ASUS has included the run-of-the-mill Realtek ALC897 audio codec, which in all honesty is nothing much to write home about, being a standard audio codec that can be found in most lower-end motherboards. Internet connectivity, on the other hand, is courtesy of Intel's i219B chip, which supports Gigabit Ethernet. I must say, a tad disappointing, considering how common 2.5 Gigabit Ethernet is becoming on boards nowadays. In the cooling and RGB departments, the board comes with five fan headers, with four located around the top of the board 
and one at the bottom of the board. Also included are two addressable RGB headers right here and over here, and these are accompanied by two 12 volt standard RGB headers right here and over here. Now the board does not come with built-in Thunderbolt 4 ports, it does however have a Thunderbolt header right here that allows you to hook up a Thunderbolt 4 add-on card that is sold separately by ASUS. Moving over to the I.O. ports of the board, as you can see, the Z590M Plus guns for a traditional I.O. layout without an integrated I.O. shield design. The board comes with four USB 2.0 ports, a DisplayPort 1.4 connector, a HDMI 2.0 port, DVI port, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A port, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 X2 Type-C port, a Gigabit Ethernet port right here, two USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A ports, as well as your standard audio connectors. And that concludes this video on the ASUS Prime Z590M Plus. Given the specs of this board, my take is that this is sort of an oddball of an offering from ASUS, given that it packs the top-of-the-line Z590 chip and yet has features that belong in lower-end motherboards. Some things that, in my opinion, are sorely missed include the lack of 2.5 Gigabit Ethernet, a small number of USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, and perhaps even aesthetic features like heat sinks for the M2 slots. Now, given this board's price at around 175 US dollars, I would probably recommend getting this board only if you can score one at a better price than that. And this is because I, there are so many other compelling options at this price point that I can think of, such as the Tough Gaming B560M Plus Wi-Fi from ASUS, which sits at a similar price point and yet offers a lot more bells and whistles as compared to the Z590M Plus. With that, thanks so much for watching, do like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you guys around the next time.